gouache is something really special and if you take it with you on the road you have less materials you have to lug around as opposed to oil and acrylic just a little bottle of water a small tupperware container to hold everything in and a sturdy sketchbook i can use the lid of my container to be my palette as i'm painting but i find that it can also help to take a paper palette with me it's the same size as my sketchbook anyway i like to start with water and the paint a little bit more of a watercolor technique and then I can start going over that paint with more opaque paint. I really want to focus on values. Just break down the shapes as simply as possible. And really try and go in and add details at the end. So just big shapes to start off with. I'm going to be teaching a workshop at Cole Gallery this March, all on how to use gouache. All on how to use gouache and use its abilities to your advantage when you're on the road with a small little kit. So you can capture some information, take that back in the studio, and if you're using M. Graham paint, for example, you're able to get the same pigments in oil and acrylic and watercolor as you're using in your gouache. So you can actually go back into the studio and create something that has exactly the same color tones.